Here we go, here we go. Gamers 2 versus Team Vitality. Okay, okay. Draven, no Callista ban. Well, that's going to be an instant pickup for G2, obviously. Nico and the Renata Glass. Okay, they give up Oriana Rel. Okay, we're going to pick Annie for VTO. Oh, yeah, you love to see it. Single target damage. Single target damage. Single target damage. Viego resets. R -r -r resets. Are right, we going to take Karma support here? Karma Callista sounds kind of ass, but whatever. So I'm curious what they are actually maybe thinking of, because I'd be happy to put Ralph Boss here as a response to most of the the cute dragon. It's the ugly boy. Okay, we're going to take Zaya. Oh, we're doing crazy shit in top lane. And we're back to Leoner. Would have, I think, I think, I mean, look, very strong engage. Let's take Zaya Rakan. Okay, so they could, they would have known that this is, this is going to be top lane. So they opt into the Zach pickup. This is why Gragas was banned, guys, because Gragas is very good into Jace. So we have heavy amounts of engage with Leona and Zach, and it's all about getting Viego resets in a front-to-back composition. Thing about this, though, pretty low range. Like, they're going to have a hard time answering the longer range of this and zone control of this composition, right? Potentially, in the mid and late game. Leona Zach is such incredible engage though, because you can actually set up for Zach jump by hitting Leona R. Look, this game is incredibly important for the top of our table. If G2 win, they're in sole control of first place. Kind of Viego's playground again, though. Ori should have pressure early. So should top, but, I mean, the gank potential obviously huge for Viego into those lanes. feels very... Do well if he wants to leave side lane and actually, like, come down to interact with the bot lane. It's funny that you say that, but you're right. Like, I think the more I think about this team, it's like, okay, give Hans, Han, and Mickey something... Incredibly strong jungle mid duo. I mean, and with the Rex size and the Zacks of the world, more and more our top laners are becoming um, just like weird pick enthusiasts. That's the thing. Like BB's most played is Rex size. <laughs> he's played it twice. Everything else that's going like Volley Bear, Jay, Scrag is. Yeah, to be fair, he's played every other yeah. pick once. But he's so playing sustain tanks. He's playing Volley Bear, Zach. Rek'Sai, these are all sustained tanks in top lane that are just very annoying. Maybe with a few more levels under his belt and some armor, both of them will be a bit more comfortable. But you can see Yike clearing away from top side. Meaning Broken Blade's going to be pretty miserable, and Photon's very likely to grab uh, a plate here if no one supports. Yeah, I think the uh, the big thing here is for Daglas just to try and get some early vision, which I think he's about to go for now. Actually, just a transitional gank, it looks like, but... Trade Flash. Okay, Yike is a camp ahead now, though. He's actually two, three camps ahead. It's actually three camps ahead. And now they're going to try and get control and do a little invading. Okay. Should get double crab. Okay. We'll come back to life. I don't think Photon can push for anything else there, but already getting that down means if there is ever pressure or attention topside from Daglas, the dive is so much simpler to execute. Photon just got to take the reset, though. Spend the extra little bit of gold that he's picked up and try to make it topside. Daglas, spotting Yike. A huge amount of this is, again, Daglas just trying to make sure that Yike... Daglas has been a lot better this split than last split, and I, that's a huge factor in Vitality's improved performance. Now the follow-up C 
ADC cars. He can pull back on the feathers, but doesn't quite have three on the lineup. That's the ignite down for Hillisang. Very positive health trade for the side of Vitality, but a sum in favor of G2. Yeah, I think a lot of that was just trying to ensure that Mickey gets pushed down low. He still has another pop, which he's going to pop now, but Hillisang trying to push him back because when Leona goes in, you've already seen like she has to go for it. So want to try to cover his caps. caps. Also need just to burn a pot. <laughs> yeah. I think it's safe to say or recall. Yeah. It looks like recall is going to be the option. Remember the G2 kind of around the map at the moment. <laughs> uh oh, G2 early game? Question mark. Root now landing. Hansama locked up, but Yike there just in nice time. Nice done. Hillisang has been caught out. He tries to dash. He tries to flash onto the safety, but the timing just not quite there. As Yike takes Rakan to dance around and look cool. So he doesn't actually go back. This is a little bit interesting. Is that? You know, so why they don't think he's there is because they, I think they see him in mid lane. They see him in mid lane on the wave. He actually, this is actually pretty clever by Yike. Look at what Yike does, by the way. So he crosses over into mid as if he's going to scuttle and then he goes back down to kink. And yeah, they have a ward here, but they wouldn't necessarily see him getting Scuttle Crab. So he actually just trolls by walking through the mid lane to show himself, looking like he's going for double Scuttle. And then he literally just wraps around back through the jungle to gank bot. So, I mean, bot lane's probably pretty pissed right here because they're like, what the fuck, man? You guys just, uh, we just saw him mid. How did he get down here? It's actually such a troll path. Hillsang is probably really confused about what just happened. Douglas is like, don't worry, guys, I'll get crabbed now. A nice timing from Yike as well. With the way that everything had gone, they assumed that he would be moving back into topside to try and take his camps in the top end of the map that were respawning. But Yike goes. Bob is with you. Does that mean I get to see you in Korea? Catches cars and Hillisang out. Have they just taken that nice trade? So, really good decision making from Yike specifically to get down to that bot side. Now, Douglas, though, knowing, hey, look, you're going to have to reset again, Yike, to come up top side. I've got some time to do these white grubs, but. Yike may even forego more of his camps. May just look immediately topside. Looks like level three roam. Setup here is a bit risky because Daglas isn't too far off. They really need to be able to burst Photon down. He already queued forward though. That might just be the death sentence. The flash out to safety. Still the spectral mock. Connect. Setup here is a bit risky because Daglas isn't. You already were going to do to an important April function. We're both invited to. I didn't know if you were going to come. They really need to be able to burst Photon down. That's good to know. Oh man. Level three roam. Setup here is a bit risky because Daglas isn't too far off. They really need to be able to burst Photon down. Oh, they see him coming in. Still hits the stun off the flash. Daglas being here though. Yikes. It was made very clear to me it was not optional. <laughs> Oh my god. Over aggressive from G2 and Photon's more than happy to oblige them with a quick death. I mean VTO just he he's got he sees the kill shot because Cap still has no flash from the gank earlier and he's not six, so they just go all in. That's nice. It's just a solo. That is a generous assist, League of Legends. And Karzi got out. He got the cleansing flash. He managed to escape away from Mickey. I thought he was as good as dead. So three quick kills for Vitality. Top and mid have just gone massively in favor of them. Certainly have. And I think the only frustrating thing of your Vitality is that two of those kills are on to Daglas, but it'll help him at least keep up in terms of early gold. Maybe get even further ahead. Photon, though, sitting pretty. Broken Blade wildly far behind. Ma G2 is never top 10 in the world. Yeah, they are. I hate to tell you guys they are still top 10 in the world. Have you seen how bad some of like the th the third and fourth like the fourth seeds are in LPL and LCK? I hate to tell you, but also G2 is definitely still winning the split. Oh, that's a frustrating yike. But I think this was a questionable call because they essentially they got the flash, they hit the stun. 
but they had burned all their cooldowns, and in the extended trade, Broken Blade's out of spells. I don't even know if you get out of that with more than one for one. Han Sama now forced to flash cleanse. They keep trying to back away, but we talked about this with Leona. Yeah, they should have backed away. Again, this is like the second game in a row where we see a Jace uh, get his flash bird, and instead of just coming back later, you try and pursue the Jace. G2 better than KT slash DK? They're definitely better than DK. They have late game shot calling that's pretty good, guys. I was gonna say, Daglas, I think that's one you want to go in on. So, manages to get the flash to get the kill, but Caps now starting to roam up towards his top side. Photon, the wave should be sitting just underneath him. He's They're probably better than KT, too, if I'm being honest. Gonna keep himself safe, safe, and Caps finds nothing. Dragon now. KT's pretty shit. Three grubs, four kills. G2, G2 has impressed me more consistently than KT has this split. All right, well, let's skip ahead. Early games. Excellent sidestep from VTO. Hex flash forward. Unstoppable is Yike, though. Fantastic use of the Heartbreaker, but he's the one leaving hard. Comfortable for them. Trying to set up for more of these early games. Excellent sidestep from VTO. Hex flash forward. Unstoppable is Yike, though. Fantastic use of the Heartbreaker, but he's the one leaving hard broken. His caps is now in trouble. They Jesus Christ. Photon with the rum. He could do it on Rubble. He could do it on Jace. Guy. Feels good to have a Korean top laner in the LEC, bro. That is true. Feels good for Douglas as well to have four kills, but I really think okay. he would like to have that spread right, out take a it little back. bit more, okay? I take it back. We're not praising Douglas anymore. This is highly suspect. You can't play Rel and also take the kills. <laughs> Still, though, I think it's the well, that creative early gank from Yike has just translated into getting CC'd until the end of time. Caps, just zero mana. Alrighty. Can Rel do anything with kills? No. You see, next patch, they're just removing Rel's bonus damage to jungle creeps. Good, it's a stupid jungle champ. Get her out of the jungle, that's what I say. It's alright, we have the new stunbot jungler of Skarner coming in. So, Skarner and Poppy will just replace Rel, don't worry. Essentially guaranteed at this point. Top two. The ignite ticking and again the Leona goes in well, but she does not go out. Cardi yeah, the other thing about this is this really wasn't necessary for G2 to win, right? So not sure how hard they're playing this one. Vitality. This has been great. And that time, Douglas, perfect setup. Gives the, the third kill over to Karzi. Another turf gonna go across <laughs> as well. And what's Smite fights with Rel felt unwinnable. Yeah, it's stupid. It's not that they felt unwinnable, it's that they were unwinnable. If both players are playing optimally, you actually just can't win. I'm just here for the KC game, you dirty raccoon. Do you ever think you will do a Fog of War review, like only show G2 vision? Uh, I would love to do that, but I am. we don't have replays from Riot, so I can't do that. It's actually impossible to do. That would be fucking great content, but Riot says we're not allowed to see that. Hold on the solar flare for Mickey to make sure that he'd be able to get that lock up long enough. And Viego will secure it. G2 biting back. Just about able to get the kill. Good hold on the solar flare for Mickey to make sure that he'd be able to get that lock up long enough for Yike to come through. And it was just a nice timing. As you say, Vitality not in a position on the map. They'd all gone for those resets, so able to do it. Broken Blade, that might have been a bit step too far. Yes, but Mickey is here. Thundering blow, the knockback there. Mickey can follow up, but Yike a little bit too far away for them to be able to push any further. We'll just be the wave crashed on top side, but here comes Karzi and Hilly. Caps in the brush. If he gets spotted, this is going to be bad. He's got no mana. They've got no room to make a play, and he's already forced to reset. Or, for, sorry, cancel his reset timer. Excuse me. We'll give six grubs to Vitality, though, because you can see Photon, he's going to be for reset. TP back up in his top side. You're trying to interrupt Hilly. Nice interrupt on the caps. Stop. And again, you're just buying time because G2 stay down to the map. Oh, he's not done. 
won't be able to get it. There's not enough range on the the gleaming yeah. quill. Yep. But there you go, pushing top side with the TP back from Photon. They pushed in mid. That's six grubs now for Vitality and a minute until Dragon. But might have taken a little bit of time. G2, I don't think they want to try and contest, but they are in the area. Well, Cap's already TP to the bot lane. BTO still has his TP, so this is not really the play that G2 are looking for unless Vitality overcommit. Space call now forced out. Mickey pulled back to safety by Hans Sama, but the quickness comes in from Hillisang. Charm again onto this Leona. That was way too over aggressive from Hilly. Like they finished nah, because they're setting up for Drake. The thing is, is that now you now you have push here in mid, and you have this Drake spawning, and you're probably gonna be able to get a mostly uncontested Drake. I agree. I mean, but the quickness comes in from Hillisang. Charm again onto this Leona. Thing is, Mickey actually has to recall now, so they can't. You know, if you get rid of the support, they can't actually set up any vision control. But as I was about to say, Vitality had already got the lead. No Hansama ultimate for Mickey when the next dragon was about to spawn was like Fantastic. So Mickey X is 50% health and he actually just can't recall. He can turn and focus on him. Karzy should be able to finish him off. But now Haley again, take a step too far forward. We'll dash it to video, but I think this is where Vitality had their way. He's making it very difficult for them to get any kind of control in River. Too heavily, too quickly. And it's actually giving opportunities for G2 to kind of take a breather, reset and come back on an even footing for the next fights. Yeah. You were pretty close to getting everything uh, you wanted in that exchange, where you basically get Caps' TP for free because Hillisang cancels that recall so many times. If it had completed, he could have just walked bot, and he would have had that TP available. You could have gotten all six grubs. So now you can push out mid like and just walk into River and take Drake, right? That just sets you up for the next fight. You, you talked about it. And this dragon, his cooldowns are still going to be gone, but now Hillisang... No, we'll Douglas... If Vitality wants to kill Red first. First on the wave in bot lane, and Hillisang has to be careful about stepping too far forward. Damage now on the Photon. Big wave there. Mickey X and Broken Blade should have enough damage to finish off the Jace, but Photon still going in. The Eclipse, not enough. The why are we running up here with everybody? Just go fucking do Drake. What are we doing? They, why are we running into Top River? Just If they're going to commit their support into the top side, just go do Drake. Shockwave once more. You, you guarantee it because you have Rel on your team. They can't actually win a 50-50 smite versus you. Force onto bot lane means that they should be able to maybe with the next wave get the tower. But actually, I was going to say that wave was cleared out by Caps just as before he reset. So it will just be Dragon instead. But at least Vitality starting to get a little bit more control again on the map. Vitality has to be feeling good. They've gotten every objective in the game. First tower belongs to them. Five grubs, two dragons. Yes, a 2k gold lead. Not insurmountable, certainly. The good news for G2 is they finally have an avid. They actually wasted a lot of time because by trying to save Photon here, they didn't do Drake fast enough. And this actually opens up an opportunity for Yike to cross map into the Herald. Very frustrating. Could just be BTO on the wave. It could be three people. He's not sure, so has to give the benefit of the doubt to the side of Vitality. It also becomes very difficult to use this rip Herald now as G2 because how do you try and force a wave state where you can actually get the advantage on mid wave? Because essentially what you're going to see is Karzy and Healy force mid wave, shove it into the tier two. Healy leaves, groups with Daglas, they get top tier uh, one with Photon, right? You yeah. establish a bunch of vision on top side. No real wave state for G2 to take a terror. So unless they completely abandon the top side of the map and lean in with caps on this bot side to use the Rift Herald there, maybe they can get a terror. But one bot lane terror going down in trade for a top lane terror and use of Rift Herald is still a big win for Vitality. So G2, I think this is why they're trying to set top side here. Look to get the pick as Vitality are starting to move up towards Photon top side. If they can punish Vitality when they skip a step, this Herald can be incredibly impactful, but you're right. If we enter just a normal game state as it is right now, so heavily Vitality favored, it's it's like a consolation prize. It's like half a turret's health bar. 
they're they're forcing G2 just to cover top side right now, even though the waves have been pushed. So basically, they push in, eliminate. They push in, eliminate vision, draw in the darkness to here. Then they just transition right back into mid lane, push it out, and they just do this over and over and over again. All right, here we go. Back in the jungle, right? Oh, no, they're pushed up, so we kill top now. Nope, back in the jungle. Here we go, back into the jungle, clearing out all those wards. So this is their game plan uh, to just try and take out tier 1 in the top side. I'm surprised to see them backing up. I thought they'd continue the pressure here because you've only got like a minute, minute 30 that you can actually play out these wave states. So three more waves before you've got to go and reset for a dragon coming in. This game is so hard now for G2 to do anything. I mean, credit to Vito as well. He's just been aggressive on caps consistently, making sure he never can leave lane even if he does manage to get pushed with more than like 40% HP. That means any piece of CC connecting certainly would finish the job. Tillisang looking to get this started off. Quickness goes in. D nice interrupts. Interrupt with Photon there. Dagless coming in behind. Flash keeps Mickey safe for now. Harrowed pass shows that Yike is on the way in Vitality. Don't want to overcommit. Cap says TP and he's missing off the waves. They want to make sure that they're backing up and not giving that across as Video goes to accept the wave on bot side. So they're going to play it slow for the moment, but again, it's just rinse and repeat for Vitality, right? Yeah, so this is a good vision control, control of the top side jungle. Vision on the top side. You know that Mickey has to reset. Cool. Now slip into the top side once more and do the exact same thing. Photon going to start hard shoving the wave because you can already see they're leaning towards that top side as Vitality, but not actually going to go for it again. I think you're missing opportunities here where you could actually try and contest onto the top side, but they're looking for caps instead. Trying to catch caps, but caps spots them. Smart uses the Scryer Bloom behind him, anticipating a potential play here. And this is the tricky part of playing against G2. Now, the good news is there's not a smolder. They don't have inevitable scaling on their side. But in order to really press them in the mid game, you have to be so diligent around your waves. Otherwise, you're falling back to, I think, what every team falls back to, which is they will eventually have to fight us at the fourth dragon, Rob. But I don't, you don't need to go that far into the game. You shouldn't have to wait for that angle. You are so far ahead, you should be able to end it before them, or at least get an even bigger advantage. But if you can't find the good waves to play around, before all right, so now we're just going to control bot side jungle, take Drake. Pretty good macro game by Vitality, honestly. entirely here but it looks like they're not going to and try and set up for a dragon play or they can try and hold on to the top tier one but i think this might actually be a little bit of a mistake i think you can test mid wave set up vision and look for picks on vitality as they start to come in towards dragon but not feeling comfortable enough to try and go for it. they really want to hold on to the tier one it's just tough because mickey's in position to punish hellsang for stepping far that that far forward to lay down that vision but they don't have the upfront damage to just immediately kill a Rakan, especially one with Locket, with Flash, you know, Guardian, if he's able to get back to the rest of his team. And so that opportunity doesn't really present itself. They're, they're not in a position where they can just instantly burst someone down without caps in the area. Harold will finally get used. Better than expected, essentially allows G2 to cheat tempo. And they're already there to cover a potential dragon play, so not bad. Really getting the gold a little bit closer, not giving up too much. Yeah, Vitality had recess. Daglas and Karzy gone back to base, so G2 actually finding that really kill a Rakan, especially one with Locket, with Flash, you know, Guardian, if he's able to get... That it looks like it was close to expiring. And so that opportunity the Herald here. They're, they're not in a position where they can just instantly burst... It's actually the crazy they get this area. turret. G2, they find these little timings, guys. Because look at that, they actually have two people top lane. Why is Karzy recalling now? He needs to go get Quick Blades. He's super late on the recall, guys. He's he's actually recalling after Drake has spawned. And because he's super late on the recall, it allows G2 to push forward in the mid lane again. And they actually lose control over Drake in spite of the fact that they're, the jungler, Yike, just used Harold in the top side. Because Karzy's just not there. Yeah, what the fuck, man? It's actually crazy that they're able to find this timing. Wants to push that wave out and force somebody to respond. Control of the tribe belongs to G2. 
Brookie fishing for BTO. That would have been bold. I think that Zenith Blade might have been the death of him, but Brookie Blade in the area means there could have been some follow-up. G2 missed their chance, though. Now it's Vitality. You have mid control. They're going to be able to push in. You see Han Sama drifting across to try and accept that wave of the tier two. So you missed your chance in Caps. Nice sidestep from Caps. Bit of an overcalculation there from Hillisang as well as Yike lays down the Harrowed Path, but Vitality remain unconcerned. Yeah, Hillisang gets Dragon priority though, doesn't actually have to burn his ult either. Vitality, but the Dragon is theirs. You can see Hillisang wants to make a play. This man is not happy with a single objective, and I think it's going to cost him his life. Beautiful Zenith Blade comes in, and actually it's going to cost Daglas as G2 fish for the angle and find the kill. You already got the Dragon, you greedy goose. Why are you going back? Beautiful Zenith Blade comes in. I mean. The thing here is that VTO is trying to catch this wave, but this is actually kind of scary for VTO potentially. Because there's still four people down here, and VTO will get dove by the Zack and the Ari. I mean, the problem here is it's just a split call, right? Like, these two, Dingus A and Dingus B are not even part of this. You know, they can't get this. They need to protect VTO under the turret. So I actually think Hillisang and Vita uh, Hillisang and Daglas are doing the, the right thing here, which is that they see the possible dive coming in onto Oriana. Uh, the, the Dingus squad here needs to be in river. Like, it's not even really a threat into the mid lane, and you don't know where Callista is. So where is the Jace and where is the Zaya? That's the real problem. They were trying to prevent this play from happening, but uh, Carsey and Carsey and Photon got distracted by the juicy wave in the mid lane. Just go to tower through try, but that's not the right play. I, I'm telling you what the right play is. The right play is your fucking team comes into river to zone them off so VTO can take this and push out. The right play is not these guys split up and go under turret. Okay? You could still get 5v3 dove there by Zach, Ari, and Callista once Callista gets there. Remember, they have Leona, Zach. They can dive you. They can dive you. Like, they got trolled by the Zaya and the Jace. The split call. It was a bad call. He's just controlling vision as they push in. I mean, he doesn't take any damage from this, and he causes charm to miss, and he keeps them around so they can actually con they don't back off on this dive. I mean, they got a kill and they got turret and they can probably switch to Baron. Nice engage from Daglas. Uh, I Hill Sang played that really well. Ooh. Okay, just go Baron. Fuck that tower. Nikki's coming into the base, but BB has to reset. No TP for him. Caps doesn't have it either, and he's gone. So this is going to be Vitality. The picks and the tower into the Baron. They finally managed to get that play to work. Incredible stuff. The dude is carrying. I mean, he's securing objectives. He's doing his job. He's delaying them so that the dive can actually take place. 
60% of the time, it works all of the time. Every it's time, baby. Go in, and this is perfect, right? Because Hitty actually has a great angle here, gets Yike and Caps on the backside after Daglas with a great engage. I thought the jig might have been up as video got spotted as they tried to set up for that depth rush, but it doesn't matter. Vitality able to make it work, and you can just see how happy the coaching staff is behind them. I can't... The gestures were happy, the face wasn't happy there <laughs> from Pat. We'll, we'll ask him later if that was a happy. <laughs> He's been hurt before, okay? He's been, I, yeah. Yeah, a lot of throws this particular season. But now, Broken Blade going for the engage. VTO fishing for the side step. Flash out from cards, he giving that respect. He's been hurt before, okay? He's been, I, yeah. Yeah, a lot of throws this particular season. But now, Broken Blade going for the engage. VTO T.O. Fisher for a side step, flash out from cards, he giving that respect, pull back onto Broken Blade, passive going down, Broken Blade should just die here, the question is Vitality, do they want to keep this fight going or be happy with the single pick? G2 looking for the angle, trying to take one Baron buff away, maybe two. The 4 before, and Hilly is even trying to find the flank his own. He has ultimate, he's stepping back into the rest of his team, Hansama off to the side, but Hilly wants to keep it, Hansama still on the touch. Nice engage, Vitality played this game well. Yikes trying to back away, pull back is there, Photon doing good damage to Jace, just tearing through G2, but now the turn, they're trying to bring it back, Caps, one more dash, just finish off Photon, he gets one back, double kill for the Jace, Daglas wants to finish off the Ari, but he knows he doesn't have enough in the tank, meanwhile in the mid lane, the push already coming through, Karzi still alive, it's a chaos, even though the fight looked a little bit funky, Thunderdome being, so basically, I'm a Photon TP, BTO, is the charm follow up there, they don't quite have the angle, Let's bounce coming from Brokeway, but he's so damn squishy, I come to the side, cannot, we're back to Dragon though, and people are cost, break back, Crab has been now picked up, are people BTO. caught? BTO does flash. BTO does shockwave as well. Again, it so cleanly. BTO stops the pick from coming through. The setup onto the Drake is theirs. Hillisang moments away from the ultimate now coming back. Yike burning, ticking, wants desperately to get the reset, but he can't do it. Caps now. BTO stops the pick from coming through. BTO actually used shockwave here on the Yike. Oh, he misses him because he flashes. Caps now, three stacks left on the dash, but he's only going to be able to run back to base. The Q flash, the shattering strike from Daglas. Honestly, this is a really good game for Vitality, guys. I don't, I don't hate this game. Fanatic fans elated. Fanatic will be in sole possession of first place after this win from Vitality. One last. A little bit of happy gaming from G2, but to be expected, this game was pretty meaningless for them. Them pushing down.